What up gamers? Today we're going to be doing a Vim speedrun. That's right, you can speedrun Vim. How are we going to speedrun Vim? We're going to go through Vim Tutor as quickly as possible. I am going to talk through it so it's not going to be a proper <laughs> speedrun, but who cares? You might learn something. I'm definitely going to learn something. Let's get to it. You've got Vim installed. You also have the program Vim Tutor. So type that in. There you go. Basically a tutorial. Seven chapters. Easy peasy. Let's go. First one, moving the cursor. HJK now. We can do that. Move the cursor around the screen to get comfortable. We're comfortable. Hold the J key until it repeats. Ooh! Using the down key, move on to lesson 1.2. We're already at 1.2. Look at this, we're going, we're going hand. Well, it's probably time this, shouldn't it? Cassia? Pog watch? Lesson 1.2. Exiting Vim. You're already learning how to exit Vim. The second lesson is how to exit Vim. Type QA enter to exit Vim. Okay, we're exiting Vim. Oh, now we need to go back to the chapter. Skip down quickly. I'm using Control D. Exiting Vim. We've exited Vim. We've, we've learned lesson, that lesson. Text editing, deletion, very important. Press X to delete the character under the cursor. Uh, the cacao, the cow, jumped over the moon. Done. When that lesson is correct, 1.4. Learn by usage. Don't memorize, correct. Press I to insert text. Move the cursor to the first line below marked that. Okay, we're there. Wait, the first line, second line, move the cursor on top of the character before which the text is to be inserted. I'm, I think I might be small brain. Don't understand that. As each error is fixed, press escape to return to normal. Then repeat steps 2, 4, 3, There is some text missing. Oops. Miss M I double S I from from this line. There we are. Right. We're already comfortable in certain text. Lesson 5, penetrating. Press 8 to pen type. Blah, blah, blah. Same thing. There is some text missing from this line. There's also some text. Meh. Same here. Easy. Done. When you're comfortable. Look at this, guys. We're speeding for it. We're speeding for it. That's what was going far. <laughs> How do we edit the file, boys? Ah, uh, look at it. It warns you. Don't exit before you've read the entire lesson. Insert and delete text. Ah. Make a new terminal. All right. There we are. Then file.txt. Ah, right, well, we've already done this before. Look. Test arena. Save. I right, edit that. Arino Cappuccino. Wow, we edited it. Oh, wow, we're done. After reading the steps, we we know that. Lesson one summary. Skip. Deletion commands. Type delete words, delete word. There are some words that fun don't belong paper in this sentence. There are some words, DW, that don't belong DW in this sentence. Easy peasy. More deletion commands. Type D dollar to delete the end of the line. Somebody type the end of the, this line twice, end of this line twice. Oh, delete dollar. There we are. Lesson 2.3 on operators and motions. Let's go, let's go, keep going. D motion. A short list of motions. W until the end of the next word. E to the end of the current word, including the last character. To the end of the line. Right. Pressing just the motion while in normal mode without an, an operator will move the cursor as specified. Move the cursor to the start of the line below mark that. Type 2 word W to move the cursor two words forward. 2 W. This is just a line, right. Type 3 E to move the cursor to the end of the third word forward. Yeah. Type 0 to go to the start of the line. Yes. Repeat steps 2 and 3 with different numbers. Uh, 5 W. Oh, 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 hard. Using account to delete more. Type 2 delete word. This line. Ah. Repeat steps 1 and 2 with different counts. So this is 4 delete word. This line of words is, and that is, 3 delete word. Wow. Easy peasy. I do. I want to keep saving this file, but it's a temp file. It doesn't exist. Like my muscle memory is like save, save, save. Type D to delete, delete a whole line. Move the cursor to the second line in the phrase below. Type D D. Done. Now move up to the fourth line. One, two, four. Type two D D to delete two lines. Wow. Roses are red, violets are blue. Sugar is sweet and so are you. Oh, how lovely. Oh, lo oh, lovely. The undo command. Press U to undo the last command. U to fix the whole line. Move the cursor to the line below. Mark that and place it in the first arrow. Right, we're on the first error. Type X to delete the first one to go. And I type U to undo it. Yeah, this time fix all the errors on the line using the X command. Errors on this line and replace them with undo. You learn something new every day. I didn't know capital U was a thing. <laughs> Very cool. All right. To delete from the cursor up to the next word, type DW. To delete from the cursor up to the end of the next word, type DE. To delete from the cursor to the End of the line, type D dot. To the, oh, we're just repeating. Okay, well, wow. skip. The put command. I call this paste. Move the cursor to the end of the line marked that. Right. 
Type DD to delete the line, store it in a bin register. Yeah, move the cursor to the C line above where the deleted line should go. Right. Put P to put it below the cursor. Yes, we know that. Roses are red. Whoops. Uh, roses are red. No, not up here. Roses are Change till the end of the word, type CE. So this is change. Place the cursor at the line, the U in LUV, this lub. And then, like that, I guess. Is that what it wants to do? Oh. Has a few. No, I've got, to be, I've got to use CE. I never use CE, I always use change W, but need changing. No, CE using. Oh, I shouldn't have should have done it here. Using. The change operate. Wait, oh, CC changes the whole line. Did not know that. Did not know you could type CC to change a whole line. There you go. More changes using C. Change number motion. The motions are the same, such as W and dollar. Move the cursor to the first line mark there. Type dollar. The end of this line needs some help to make it look like this. What? The end of this line needs to be corrected using the change dollar. Oh, yeah, oh right, it just needs to change it like this. So I change change it to the end of the line like that. Needs to be correct. Why is that not? The end of this line needs to be correct. Yeah. Using the oh. Why has it got space? Ah, why has it got spaces like that? Who knows? Wow, look at that! You can use the backspace key to correct mistakes whilst typing. Who would have known? To put text back that has just been... Oh, lesson three, right. Summary. Lesson four. We're already on lesson four, lads. We're nearly there. Type control G to show your location in the file. Yeah, I knew that. Look, so we're halfway through. We're halfway done. Hold down the control key and press G. This will call the control D. A message will appear. Blah, blah, blah. Note this may... You may see the cursor position in the lower right, blah, blah, blah. Type G to move to the bottom of the line. Type GG to type the number line you're on. Let's just check out the number we're on at the moment. So we're on line 500. So if I type G, we go to the bottom, yeah. If I type G, we go to the top, we type like this. We go to line 500. There we are. Wow. If you feel confident in this, excuse me. Yeah, okay, I guess we've done that. Type slash followed by a phrase to search. We know all that searching, don't we? Normal mode, type the slash character. Notice that it, the cursor appear at the bottom of the screen as with the colon column. Now type E R R R. Enter. Wow! Search for the same phrase again, simply type N. Whoa! Ooh, look, look. Oh, it's telling me to use question mark to search backwards. Oh, if I want to search backwards, yes. I just use capital N normally, I don't actually do that, but whatever. To go back to where you came from, press control O. That's useful. Keep control down while pressing the letter O. Well, now to press control O. Repeat to go back further. Control I goes forward. What? I need to uh, I need to start using that, don't I? That's useful. I've never done that. Error is not the way to spell error. Error is an error. That's cool. Didn't know that. Matching parentheses search. Type percentage to find the matching. Yeah, I knew that. Place the cursor on any other character in the below line, now type the percent and it'll jump. Yeah. So this is very useful. So if I go here, it'll jump back. Yeah, if I go here, it'll jump back. Jump forward. Yeah, I use that all the time. Ah, substituting. This is very useful as well. Type percent %s slash old slash new g to substitute new for old. Easy. Note this command only changed the first occurrence. Yeah. C the. Wow, it works. Now type s the g. For global. Yeah. We substitute globally in the line. Change all occurrence of the in the line. Wow, look at that! Easy peasy to change every occurrence character, string blue lines, type that, that, that. Oh, that's useful. You can do it between lines. I always, I never actually do this command here, this one between the lines. I will always visually highlight my selection and then do it like this. Look. But that's cheating. That's going ahead of where we are. Summary. We learned how to do all that. 
how to execute an external command. Very useful to do. This allows you to type exclamation point. Type ls. Uh, I'm not going to type ls because I'm in my home directory. So instead, I'm going to type uptime. Look at that. We're only up two hours. We shut our computer down because we're a good boy. Right. This is useful though because you get. You can also do like. Yeah. So this is our current file. The percentage sign is the current file. So you can even like you know. Cat the current file we're on to cat it. Incredibly useless, but. The percentage is very useful for lots of things. Ed uh, 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 compiling the current program. The more you know. More on writing files. To save the changes you made to the text, type wfilename. We know that. Choose a file name that does not exist yet, such as test. Now type write test. Write test. Yeah. This saves the file file, the Vim tutor, under the name test. To verify this type, bang, ls test. We'll, we'll do that to see if test exists. Wow, look at that. If you were to exit Vim and start again with the Vim test, the file would be exactly what you when you save it. Now remove the file by typing rm test. Yes. ls test. Cannot access test those file files directory. It works, guys. Excel commands work. Who would have thought? Very cool. Right. Selecting text to write. Save the file, type v. Ooh, I like visual. It's very, very, and it always feels like cheating, but to save part of the file, type v. Motion W file name, yeah. So he wants us to save. Let's do some, let's save these paragraphs. So I go W and then paras. And then I cat paras. Oh, sorry. Cat paras. There we are. Very cool. Retrieving and merging files. Oh, dearie me. To reinsert, to insert the console file, type R file name. Place the cursor just above this line. No, after exiting, you you see text from lesson. There we are. Oh, I always type read. I didn't actually know you could just type R for that. No way. Are they the same? They must be. Uh, help read. It is! Look at that! I've always typed read for, um... I know that you can just type R. You can also read the output of a style command. Yeah, that, that's useful too. Less than 6.1, the open command. Type O to open the line below the cursor and place you insert. Open? I've never called it open. I, I've called it like... I don't know why I've called it. I just know about it. Open a line. I guess, I guess if you're playing like you can warp your head around, it's opening a line. That doesn't really strike well with me, but I just know that what O does, right? Like I, I just memorize that. Well, not memorize that. I just I don't even think. I just do because I've used it. It's English. Open a line. There we go. Move the cursor to the first line below marked. Our speedrun's not going well, by the way. Fifteen minutes. This is very slow for a, a Vim speedrun. Maybe we'll do it. It's because I'm talking through it, right? I could do it so much quicker, normally. Move the cursor to the first line below my line. Type in the lowercase letter O to open the line below the cursor and place you in the insert mode. Yep. Now type some text and press O. Some text and press escape to exit insert mode. Right. After typing O, the cursor is placed to the open line insert mode. To open up a line above, we type capital A. Yeah, I know that. Open the line above the text and O. Some text. Right. We know. Easy peasy. The append command. Type A to... Didn't we learn this? Wasn't this like the first thing we learned? It definitely was. Yeah, it's lesson 1.5. Why are we to be doing 1.5? The append command. Type A to insert text after the cursor. Move the cursor to the start of the line below marked that. This line will allow you to practice. Have I missed this? Appending text to a line. I've missed a bit. This line will. This? Oh. Oh, I've double eyed it. There we go. A, I, and A go to the same assignment, they're different, so the character from say, yeah. Another way to replace, type capital R to replace more than one character. Ah. Move the cursor to the beginning of the first line below, mark that. Move the cursor to the beginning of the first triple X. Alright. Now press R and type the number below. R, four, five, six. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. I would just type change word, to be honest. That's useful. Ready, one, two, three. I didn't know that, that's cool. Four, five, six. But I can keep going. Yeah, okay. So it just puts you in, in replace mode. Oh, so it's replace mode. Good. That's kind of useful. I mean, I don't like it. What's the difference, like, of just changing the word? I guess it's a different mode? That's weird to me. I don't understand that, really. Small brain. Small brain mark. I don't know why you'd use that. It's like in some mode, but every character deletes an existing character. I would just use change over this. Use the yank operator to copy text and P to paste it. Although you said it was put before. Um, move to the line below mark. This tutorial is kind of confusing. Um, they're using different terminology for the same commands. 
I don't know if, if uh, maybe I mean it's probably been designed by some smart person so I'm not that clever so what am I to say move to the line below mark that and place the cursor after a parentheses after right start visual mode with B and move the cursor to just before first right I'm there type when yanked copy this text yeah move the cursor to the end of the next line type P to paste the text yes I've used visual select item I've yanked it at the end of the line and I paste it. This is the item. Okay. Set option. Set an option to do a search or substitute signal case. Search for ignore by pressing slash ignore. Ignore. Set the I see ignore case option by saying, ah, I didn't know you could do that, but I've actually always got that set in my VimRC. I've just forgotten about it because it's always set because it's the very same default. Search for ignore. Wow. Set the HLS search and ink search options. I have all that too. I don't know what HLS search is actually. Oh, highlight search and increment search. So increment search, when you start typing it, it jumps already like that, see? I have all these set in my VimRC. This is why they're confusing me because I don't really use them. I, and they're already there. That's in 7.1, getting help. Vim help is very good. Vim has conference online help systems. I guess I'll try one of these. If you press the help key, if you have one. Oh, can I use the help key? Do I have a help key? I don't have a help key. Press F1 for help. Oh, right. This is just Vim, all of Vim help, is it? Guess so. Type help input, that's what I normally do. Read the text in the help window to find out how help works. Control W, Control J to jump, yeah. Yeah, now this, this bit here is the most useful part, help and then what you want help with. So if I want help R, replace the character under the cursor, right? Yeah, that's really what you want. Create a startup script, enable Vim feature. Hey, it's your VimRC, this is telling you how to do VimRC. We've already done all that, so no need. I'll show you. Oops. That's ink. Set ink search. There you go. Yeah, boy. Let's see what this does. I don't know, really sure. Command line completion with Control D and Tab. Make sure Vim is in non compatible mode. Set no CP. Look what files exist in the directory. Bang ls. Okay. Type the start of a command. E. Type Control D and Vim will show a list of commands that start with E. What? You could always do that. I don't need to type control D for it, do I? Oh! 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 I press space afterwards. You don't press space afterwards. Right, okay. So to get your autocomplete options, you just type E and then control D straight away, and you get all the autocomplete ones. Right, right, right. I normally just cycle through them like with tab. Uh, interesting, okay. Thank you, Vim Tutor. We learned something new. This concludes the Vim Tutor. <gasps> Vim Tutor review, good instruction, taught me some new things. If you learn everything in there, you'll probably be pretty snappy. Uh, lots more to learn, but learn as you go. It grows with you as we always know. Anyway, not really a speed run because it took me 24 minutes. More of a, a Vim Tutor review. Oh, I can't turn my... There you go, I'll move the camera. There you go. More of a Vim Tutor review, but what have you. Uh, there we are. That's it. Enjoy. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment. Much love.